Hello, the Chicken Keeper here, and today we have a bag from Five Below. Yes, I bought something from Five Below. Uh, okay, let's take the contents out. A magic kit, which I'm not going to review because it doesn't go with my channel. And a twist cube. So I'm just going to open the box. I don't have the thing I used to hold my camera right now. So I'm going to going to have to see a lot of fumb fumbling around with my two cameras. So just I'm going to try to open this with one hand. Got it open. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put this down. Okay, I got it open. So my first thoughts. Well, this looks strange. It looks like that is supposed to be the center. I'm going to turn it, but I won't be able to show you. And maybe I'll just put it up against the box. Yeah, I'll just try that. It may not work, but it may work. Okay, it works pretty well. So, yeah. It's a little bit dry, but... Hey, another cube to add to my collection. Just as I thought. Oh, this is going to be tedious. Because the edge piece is now the center piece, and the center piece is now the edge piece. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see, um... Pattern. This is, looks weird, right? Oh, no. Looks weird. I don't know how to do this now. One, two, one, two. Okay, now this one. Yeah. So that's a checkerboard pattern. It's possible to see on the yellow and white side, but this this looks very strange. But it is a checkerboard pattern. Yeah, I'm kind of scared to do any sauce on this, to be honest. Kind of hard to turn, though, but that's my review. Now, take off the sticker. I don't know what the sticker is supposed to be. Um, I don't... 1019. That's not the year. Maybe that was when it was made, but... Peel that uh, thing off. I don't need it. <laughs> but it looks clean. I like it. I don't know the brand of it. I'm going to have to look at the box. Um, yeah. It doesn't say the brand. It just says it's six and up. It is six and up. But yeah. This is the puzzle. This is the thing that I found out how to do. Just by doing the sexy algorithm once. It already looks weird. I am too scared to do this right now. Because I think you already know why I'm scared. But I never, um, I never played with a Super Rubik's Cube before. Was yes, I did say Rubik's Cube, but not puzzle. Or whatever, I forgot what to say. But yeah, I never played with something like that before. The white side and the yellow side will be the easiest to do, but not the red side. <laughs> Or not the any other side that I am just scared to do this puzzle. But maybe I'll tense in it. I, I've never known how to do anything with this cube. Like, let's see. Nope. Can't take off the centerpieces. Maybe I can take off the ones in this. Yeah, may, I think I'm going to need a screwdriver for that. But, yeah, got it open. And it uses two pieces, and that's what it looks like. So I'm probably going to, like, tension it. But hey, now I know how to cheat. Whenever I get this in the wrong area, whenever I try to solve it. At least I know how. I'm not going to cheat. But maybe I will. Now, I don't think I should, but then again. Yeah, I don't. I shouldn't be talking about this because I'm a cuber. But wow, there's a little bit of that. 
you can hear everything. I'm only doing this so you can hear, like, how it turns. It doesn't turn that good, but, I mean, I, what would I expect from a, to, from a cube I bought from Five Below? Huh, the first ever bug I've actually seen in this house. Well, not the first, but hey. So, this is my new cube to add to my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video, and goodbye. Oh yeah, and sorry that I have um, not made a video in a while.